birthday is it? It's his birthday. It's his birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. How old are you? Hi. It goes downhill from there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We should try to get free food. Just ask him first. Yeah, and we should tell them, you know, this video is going to be watched by upwards of 100 people. <laughs> upwards? Upwards, <laughs> maybe. So upwards of 50. And that's not counting people watching it twice. Welcome to Three Guys, Three Questions. We're going to get into the questions. So, first is Joe. Joe, what's your question? What's the stupidest thing you ever got in trouble for? <laughs> Stupidest thing I ever got in trouble for in school. Okay, um, yeah, this is, it's funny that this is kind of leads us to the last one. The well, no, dirtiest thing I've ever Well, what happened is, in middle school, we discovered the administrative password for the server. And I thought this would be hilarious to show with that. And what then happened is that people were then sending messages to the old teachers in elementary school with obscene things. And I got sent to the principal's office to see if it was me. And then I complained that you should change the password from A. Which is A. Administration. Yeah. Administration was yeah. too hard. So it was like, it was like anyway. I had a backpack and I used to get like a white out marker and I used to like write stuff on my backpack and draw things or whatever because so I got bored. I remember one time I put a, uh, I put a swastika, wait, 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 with a circle with a line through it. So, you know, it was like, you thought that was a good idea. It was an anti swastika. It's like, I mean, that's a pretty universal symbol for not or against or do not. And so it was like, you know, against Nazis. Were there a lot of Nazis around? Yeah. I thought so. It was high school. Of course there were tons of Nazis around. So I had this on my backpack. I got called into the, uh, it was in the principal's the administrator's office. And I just got this like huge lecture. He's all, why do you put that on your backpack? And I was like, like, he's like I don't like Nazis. He's like, that's offensive. Who? To the Nazis? To the Nazis? Like, should we really care about offending them? I mean, we did fight a big old war about that. I'm pretty sure the stance of died of it already. <laughs> the stance of this nation is uh, down with the Nazis. <laughs> I think there's so, very little offending you can do at this point. Yeah, I got in big trouble though. Mine? Okay. I got in trouble for smashing a cupcake in the girl's hair. Smashing a cupcake? Why? You I did? did or something? No, I was in high school. Why I did this was because she took my hat and ran away with it. Is your anger problem or something? No, not anymore. <laughs> So I had a cupcake. I said, give me my hat back or I'm going to chase you and put this cupcake in your hair. She ran away, so I chased after her. A man over his promise. Yep. And I put a cupcake in her hair and I got my hat back. I want to know what, like, what, how did you get in trouble? Like, what did they do? Okay. <laughs> I, okay. It was the same girl. Me and two other friends got called into the principal's office at different times for different things. But for the same girl. Okay. One of my friends just put water, poured like threw water on her. And then my other friend threw a cookie at her. And we all got called in the principal's office for these three different areas. At the same time? No, we got called at different, different times. times. But all in the same day. But I mean, what does the principal say? He's like, enough with this cupcake violence. <laughs> her mom. Her mom called the school. 
You know what stinks? Girls talk to their parents. <laughs> Don't say anything to a girl that you don't want their parents to know. Yeah, or to their parents that you don't want them to know. <laughs> it's just like, that's like that's I, I can't tell you the number of times I've met someone's mom and they're like, oh, you're Aaron. <laughs> it's like, what do you know about me? Like, it's probably all the worst crap. Okay, uh, my question is, uh, what is the dumbest thing that you, you ever done that you thought was cool at the time? The dumbest thing, I thought it was cool at the time, but it was dumb. Okay, um, there's another pizza establishment uh, in the to area. Go <laughs> to go nameless. John's Grumble Pizza. <laughs> oh, okay, I heard the story. And they, they had a, they had like a, a giant thing in the front where you can get, they're like a bibs wrapped around a saltine cracker. And, um, yeah, I used to go there all the time. Because um, it, it was a really cheap place. I'll tell you about that some other time. <laughs> yeah, I heard that story. <laughs> um, but I always thought it was cool to take the bibs. Because I was just like, as I was walking out, I was just like, Shh, grab a bunch of them. It's weird because they're in a weird place. You can't see them when you go in. You don't see when you leave. No, yeah. But they're like in the hall exiting on the exit side. So I was just like, obviously these are take home bibs. <laughs> <laughs> to advertise to your children. Oh, and they I had, went to they the had a they had a brontosaurus on them. Yeah, I remember them. They were awesome. Well, anyways, I used to have problems with spilling on myself. I still do. I'm surprised I don't have a stain yet. Like um, a pizza. Like, like a piece of pizza just like on me. Stain. <laughs> but, yeah, I uh, I used to take these bibs and like I'd spill on myself at lunch all the time. So I just started wearing the bibs during lunch. Oh like God. every day of school, I would have a bib. You know what? People started doing it. Like, people started copying me. And they, I mean, oh, granted, these were cool people. <laughs> So like, these you know, people like, with the same you know how you have like, you're, you're like on the bottom of your social class, but there's like a separate social class <laughs> that follows you. Follow you, that follows you, and and they and they think you're cool, and so they copy you, but really they're just copying the worst <laughs> of you. Like, well, just like they're making it worse, harder on themselves. Um, so there's like a whole bunch of people at high school wearing bibs for lunch, and uh, it's a trend I started. <laughs> Okay, I have two. So, first one would just be bleaching your hair. Man, hair? I did that too. Was it spiked? Yes. Ew. The perfect combination of just bad I used to wear neon green and baby blue corduroy shirts. Two different pairs. Neon green. Neon green corduroy shorts. Were you a raver? No. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they sold the bed tar. Were you colorblind? No. I, just, I don't know. And you were like, like you were still like a heavy guy back then, right? <laughs> I like was it like a designer? Or they, just, they were just bright <laughs> they had, neon they had, green. They had neon pink paisley <laughs> on. Corduroy. <laughs> it's like a carpet. Did you say corduroy? <laughs> <Yeah>. Same thing. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Corduroy. Uh, mine was, I was in high school, and I was kind of really getting into, like, uh, rock and roll music, especially the 70s and stuff, and I grew up my hair very long. The thing is, the problem with my hair is when it grows, it doesn't go down. It goes back to right here, and then it starts going out. And I didn't cut my hair for like, like a, like a, like 50s mom? <laughs> Not that bad. It was like, it was like a lion's mane. Like Betty Rebel. It was like a lion mane, and, and so I grew my hair all this long. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. I have like senior pictures of me like graduating, super long hair, and it's not good. It's like it's nappy, it's ugly. I was this up too. And I remember like summer after I graduated from high school, I cut it, and I came back to talk to my music teacher, and everyone had that same hair. And it's like, it's going on. And I'm like, don't you know? That it looks like you, you come back as like a warning voice. You're like, listen, listen. It's like scared straight, but about, scared about, about hair. <laughs> hair straight. <laughs> My question is, um, what is your stupidest impulse buy? Like the thing that you bought in your life that it was like, you know, sometimes you're just like, you see something and you're like, I want that, and you buy it. Um, what is the stupidest thing you've done that? 
me and my friend were just sitting at my house. We're like, dude, we're bored. Let's go buy airsoft guns. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Now I'm going to say something else. Okay, good. We bought like the most powerful airsoft gun they had. That was spring loaded. That's the biggest mistake ever. And so we were going to play in my house, right? So we're like, let's, let's try this out before we actually start shooting everywhere. Like, maybe break a window. Yeah. So he stood across the room and I aimed at his back. The thing is shot at like 350 feet per second. And he had a welt that big. <laughs> He's on already his back. It's like little paintballs that don't break. <laughs> yeah. And like, I was like, dude, I don't know if we can play this inside the house. So let me shoot something else to see if it breaks or see if it does anything. So I shot one of my blinds. My parents don't know this, but now they do. <laughs> They do watch. Oh my god! But I shot the blind, and like, it's one of those like the big like wide ones. The ones that go down. So it hit it, and like it left a dent. And on the other side, it was like kind of bubbled out. It was all. We gotta take these back, dude. <laughs> uh, I bought an absurd amount of music. Like, I think I spent a span of two months on $1,000 in this What? Yeah. That's your first problem. Why did you get Best Buy? Yeah, well, because I didn't, because I was away from home, so I didn't have a computer or anything, so it was like a way to play music. And it was bad. I, like, I have still like, some of the CDs are good, but some of them are good. <laughs> what's, like, the, some of the dumb CDs you bought in that period? In that period? Yeah. Some of them are, like, ones I'm glad I bought, but I bought, like, Kiss is Great as Hits, which, which comes down to two songs, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I've never heard this song. And I'm like, this song. Oh, but it's great. But it's the greatest. Mine's a CD. Oh. But what CD? My CD was Chumbawamba. Chumbawamba. <laughs> I never made that mistake. <laughs> uh, Chumbawamba. Sing it, sing it. I don't know. I don't remember it. Uh, uh, convenient. <laughs> uh, I bought it because it was like... I think it was only like 12 or something, 13, and I was like, I didn't use like buy CDs, I used like, you know, like record stuff on my tape deck off the radio or something like that, and so I was like, I had money, and I was at Walmart, and I was looking at the CDs, and there's a CD, and the cover of it is a, it's just like lime green, and it has a baby's face. Like half of the face, right? No, it's got like the whole face of the baby. I think, but its eyes are blacked out, like like oh, yeah. de devil demon eyes, like big giant glossy black eyes. And so, uh, so I was like, I want, know? like I don't know, something within me was like, I must have that. So here's the question: How many good songs are on that CD? None. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big goose egg, man. I mean, and and like everyone made fun of me and my family for buying it, and I was like, whatever, it's good. And I used to listen to it in my room all the time, like, I'd like turn it down and wouldn't listen to it really, I'd be playing it, but when they came in the room I'd like turn it up, like, yeah, I've been listening to the CD I bought, it's really good, you should like it too, but, you don't know, they did these guys are going all the way, I sold it, I sold it to my friend Jonathan Taylor for actually two dollars more than it cost me, <laughs> Sorry, you just went the wrong bit, sorry, you did Jumbo, John was excited, John liked this CD, uh, email us and give us questions. This time, not spam. Yeah. I think it was spam. Did you check it? Yeah. We got spam. I got spam from someone named Kate, so... Hey, me too. <laughs> so, Kate, if you're watching, I didn't get it. Email again. Kate, your, like Kate your English is horrible. <laughs> okay? I don't know how you know my family either. They send their regards. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the crowd is going to be talking about. <laughs> you didn't get to see the email. But my email is <laughs> joe at three guys three questions dot com. How about you try and whisper that? <laughs> okay, Andrew, three questions. Three guys. Three guys three questions dot com. This is be on a lower third. Andrew special. Um, you can actually put in Andrew is retarded. And, uh, I set I set that up. It's one of your aliases. Are you serious? Just in case I want to be using Andrew. 
Um, I'm gonna do red potato too. So like, if you want to know him, test it out. Just test it out. Red just potato, for fun. he'll get it. Just for fun, just to see what happens. I'm G Dub at ForGuysForGuys.com, and I'm gonna get his feed through Twitter. <laughs> Twitter um, at infamous G Dub. A underscore Sav. Little <laughs> underscore Bubba. I love how it's like more complicated. I think you should make it more complicated. I think I should. Put a couple asterisks. I think that's why no one adds me because they don't really know what it is. That's it. Sweet